So we have recently gotten a pretty handy update about being able to pause the playtest physics simulation. And I've yet to make a video on it, so well, here I am. So as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, and let's get into the video. And I'm just going to overview the deform post, and there is basically this beta feature about pausing the physics simulation. And what this essentially is, well, as the name says, if you are on a playtest, you are able to pause its physics, as shown in the video right here. And during that pause, you can do different stuff like change the attributes or some values, and then after that you can get back to resuming the simulation. And there is another thing that I'm gonna mention in a second, but I'm just going to give some more information about this first. So this is just a before and after comparison to, well, an update, where it would just take a second to pause the physics simulation, and now it's just seamless. But there is also the pause and resume specificity, where you have an option to pause the simulation between pausing both the client and the server simulation with the pause physics all option or select pause physics current that will only pause the simulation in the current window. And it basically just works like so. So you can see that the person paused the simulation on the client, but the server fan was still spinning. And now if the server pauses the simulation, the client-owned fan will keep spinning. And there is also a paragraph on what will and won't be paused, saying that the new pause behavior won't pause all the scripts as it did before, and now it will only preserve certain run service callbacks, while the other ones will remain unpaused. So the pre-animation, the pre-simulation, as well as the post-simulation and the stepped event, they will not fire while the simulation is being paused, and is shown in this example right here. So for a thing that you need to keep in mind while pausing the simulation is that all the scripts and related logic will continue to run even while the physics is paused. And this just tells you how it's going to work with the pause scripts button. So you can pause the physics simulation, but the script is going to keep on running. And after pausing the simulation, you will have to pause the script later as well. And the other thing that I wanted to go over is the introduction to step forward physics. And what this update is mostly about this just adds the function to the simulation pause feature. And what this does is basically when you have the simulation paused, you are going to have a new button right here that's going to allow you to step the simulation by one frame. Since I believe the physics rendering on Roblox happens once every 1 60th of a second. And here is the preview of how this basically just works. And also the name of this beta feature is also changed to the simulation pause and step in the beta features window. But there is also a new workspace set physics API, which I have tested and this currently doesn't even work for me by the time I'm recording this video. But anyways, the new step function, the button is that basically calls the API with an input of like I said 1 60th of a second. And again this button has two options to either step the physics for everything or just for the current window. So that's for the dev forum and I'm going to have everything linked in the description, but really quickly I just need to mention something about the documentation. Because you're going to have the step physics method for the workspace that you give the delta time to and the parts, which is an optional table of parts that you want to simulate the physics on, but there is also a code sample that shows you how to use this method. And this is what I tested and, like I said, this didn't work for me. It was giving me an error of like, the plugin wasn't available or something, so don't be confused that this didn't work, since this is still a beta feature. But let's finally get into Roblox Studio. So to first enable the new post step simulation physics, you have to go into file then beta features, and then if you scroll down you're going to have the, the feature called simulation pause and step. So what you want to do is just enable this one, then press on save, then it's going to prompt you to restart Roblox Studio, then you just want to restart it and you're going to have the new buttons under the test tab. So there is the pause physics, resume physics set to all, and the step forward physics for all as well. So if I do a run test and I don't really have anything in the workspace, I can basically just pause the physics and also just step forward as well as resume the simulation. But it's going to be better if I present it on an actual object, so I'm just going to make something. And that something might be, well, a wrecking ball. So the shape needs to be a ball, size can be like 10 by 10 by 10, and I'm also going to change the material. 
and now this part is going to be called ball and this one needs to be an anchored. This top one I'm just going to leave anchored because this is what's going to hold the ball with something like a rope constraint. So that's what I'm going to add right now. And then both this part and the ball will need an attachment. Then if I go to the rope constraint, I can select attachment 0 to be the attachment of the part and attachment 1 to be the attachment of the ball. And now we can see that the rope is red and that's because we need to change the length. So the length of this part to the ball is roughly like around 24 or 25. So I'm going to give it 25 length. And I'm also going to make the rope visible just so we can see it a little bit better. But now if I go to the test tab and then do a run test and immediately pause the physics. Now you saw how there was smooth motion on this rope falling and then holding onto the rope constraint. So now if I step the simulation forward, it's going to move the ball basically by one frame of the physics simulation. And then I can resume it back. So that's a pretty neat and useful feature if you are doing anything that's like physics related. And also for the option to set the physics to all or current, I need to do a playtest instead of a run test and then post the physics for all. Now I can't even move with my character right now. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm pressing my spacebar. But if I wanted to resume it on the current window, which is the client, I would select the current window right here. And I can move with my character now. And that's because the network ownership of my character is basically set to me operating the player. But you can see that the ball isn't moving, and that's because what's simulating the physics for it is the server. So I can again pause for everything, then go to the server window, and then I can resume this on the current window again. And just pause for everyone. Now if I go back to the client, the simulation is just going to be paused again. So that's it for these options and the feature, but I also wanted to do a little presentation. And the presentation is basically just going to consist of the wrecking ball hitting a wall of parts. So I'm just going to duplicate the part and then remove the attachment and just move it somewhere around where the ball is going to hit. And I'm just going to do a presentation on a piece of glass. And I will move everything into a folder. Now I'm just going to duplicate the parts basically a lot of times for the purpose of, well, making a wall. Then I need to make sure that everything is an uncord and is also aligned with the ball correctly. So now while having this ball of parts, I can again do a run test and just pause the simulation before the ball, well, hits anything. So now what you are going to see with the simulation paused, if I just keep stepping the physics, you will be able to see the impact of the ball on the wall. Well, maybe not exactly because... I think the rope is a little bit too short. So well, I'm just going to make this ball a little bit bigger and also extend the rope distance to let's say 35 and just move it somewhere right there. And I'm just going to make an attempt number two. And that didn't work so maybe I'm gonna move it right here. And let's just try again. And I paused it a little bit too late but you can basically just see the impact right here. And basically, if I keep stepping forward the physics now, you can see frame by frame how this is going to react. And a really neat thing that you can do with this is, for example, while having the simulation paused, you can just select everything, except, well, maybe without this fan position, and just copy this during the run test. But anyways, I'm just going to finish this physics test for now. And then just stop it. And now if I just paste this in and just group this and just move this away, you can see that we have a ball with the impact that we don't have to create on our own. And this would be really cool if you wanted to do a showcase of some sort. But also I saw that this was a little bit too low, so I'm going to move it somewhere there. And let's also see what happens if I make the parts a little bit smaller. And again, do another run test. And I've paused it pretty much perfectly right before the ball was about to hit the wall. So let's see the effect by stepping the physics forward. And not gonna lie, this is pretty satisfactory. So that's really cool how you can basically see the whole impact. 
And also having an option to resume and pause the physics is pretty great. But one of my questions for this is going to be if are we going to have an option to slow the simulation down? Because I would like to well see this basically at half speed. Or if we are going to have an option to step the physics backwards. And also with the updates to the API, I hope you are going to be able to use this while scripting. Where you are going to be able to make a game, where you will be basically able to pause, resume the physics. If your character was for example using a spell or an ability, like it would destroy a wall, then just pause its state for like a second, and then make it go back to its original position. But that was like an idea of mine. But yeah, that is basically going to be everything for today. So go check out my UGC items and again, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching and see ya.